for youth skill day thank you for gathering here and today we have the chief guest of this today's function mrutunjay sir uh, who is having uh, 20 years of banking experience and also i would like to say sneha to give token of love to the sir thank you sneha and uh, also girish sir who is having 27 years work experience in banking as well as the financial i would like to call sam to give token of love sir also we are having the guest Our Atmanan sir, the fundest feeling manager. I would like to call Samir to give a uh, token of love to sir. Also, we are having DKF manager Manoj sir. So I would like to call uh, Sujit to give token of love to the Manoj sir. Thank you, Sujit. so i would like to hand over the uh, oral functions to our the girish sir thank you very much yeah uh, can you hear me now very much so how many people would like to listen in kannada hindi or english 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 how many all one minute one minute one minute okay so yes one minute i like to know what is that so today we are here for a particular objective okay and that objective is financial literacy and inclusion right i think you know this is one of the very very big initiative like this or almost uh, Four and a half years before, the government of India has taken such call called financial inclusion, where Jindal account has been started, you know, opened for a lot of people, right? And that is a very very uh, big uh, achievement, right? So you people have come from. So you all have come from a, a remote locations and uh, need to have the right access. that what you need to have to grow in professional life and personal life you all agree for this right this is why you are all sitting here today right and that subject tells basically is on the one of the subject that before we start one point i will take only one slide of us which says that parivartan is a bank initiative from our side where we want to make you socially economically strong also sustainably should grow as a community that's the first point second point you are we are also trying to reach the remote part of the the cities of the india right and we are working on multiple areas one of them is the financial literacy and inclusion okay so we'll go to the next i think now you do you people need to be very very active and alert okay 
money you are managing money now financial literacy is money i hope how many people have phone pays and phone phone pays or everybody is paying cash phone pay how many people are paying on cash cash payment how many people are doing in the shop no one right correct ha ha right right so coming to that point but uh, you people are very ang you are just you know getting into the the next world the student life the golden life is just getting finished you are getting into something bigger challenges if you think it is a good you you feel that i work today i get job life is through or i am through with my life i am i am not salary and you all that right but we will have something different now let's understand the stories right hello Take this mic. Have to use up to this much. Hello. Now, you are all guys with the present moment. How many people booked the tickets online and went for watching the movie? Raise your hands. Book my show, right? Okay. Second, mobiles. How many people are not having mobile? Everybody is having. How many people are having two wheeler? Two wheeler, right? I should ask the wrong question so that I will identify who is not. Okay. How many people are enjoying the parties on weekends? <clears throat> Many, many, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes, yes. Okay, and uh, going and uh, with the friends resort and all that on weekends. One day, both of you booked earlier. Let's go and enjoy for Saturday, Sunday. Come back on Monday morning. How many people? Many, right? Currently, no, but you are planning for it. Am I right? Exactly, right. I know. And you want to give gifts to your parents? Who oh, don't? Everyone, right? For your cell phone, laptop. It's a basic need today, correct? Graduation is already done, but maybe higher graduation. Right? It is slow. I want to make it. Uh, this is one mobile screen for all. Today, if you really want to attend to and do something great in life, okay, that part one. Uh, this is something which you can see there. Wi-Fi. Please, you have to cut it for as much as possible if you really want to do well in life. First point, because if I want to speak to you, if someone wants to speak to you, he Plus, you should be free from all these disturbances. If you want to speak to me, I want to speak to you. If you are so many things, I cannot. Correct. Keep that in the mind. Try to make your time and mind free as much as possible, so that you are open for a lot of discussions. Okay. Now. Now you assume that you got a job. The next league starts. Correct. Correct. Next. Correct. One meeting. See, you are all from the background of Bicom, and. Yes, and so you are going to get into one of the meetings. Let's see, in world, when you go out, what kind of jobs are available? Don't think that in bank. When you go to bank, bank has got everything. Bank needs guys who sells. You may be BSc, BCom, or anything. You must be good salesperson. Today, whole economy. I hope BCom guys understand economics. Somebody has to buy and somebody has to sell. You have to be there in that part, right? So one of the meeting, you will get into one more meeting, emergency meeting. It comes. 
you will understand in the long term. Then lunch time. Then comes one small presentation, right? Then boss will call you for something here and there, correct? Uh, understanding some of the issues. Now, five o'clock has already become to the end of the day. We wanted to start the day with some too, but we don't know what happened and time is getting over. So what is that? Again, I have to finish faster, right? That's another point. Sign out. Again, back to traffic. See, maybe hopefully you don't find it. People, when you go to metropolitan cities, I was in Bangalore for 17 years. I came back now. So my average day travel home to office, office to home was not less than two and a half hours. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. And then always you want to finish the day, right? How much time you get, we don't know, but you are planning for it. See, this is financial literacy, not a qualification certificate. Please understand. It is the skill that again, over the period of time will acquire, over the period of time. We have to be very smart in financial literacy. Nobody will educate you. There is no education system as of now. In other countries, it is available, but not as of now in India. Okay. We'll, we'll hold for that, we'll hold for that, okay? What a bohut account, right? And then, car lena hai, ghar lena hai. Ye shadi ke nahi ke baas jagda bhi karna hai. Aur, aap pade ho jayenge to bachyon ko bahar prezna hai. Agar, whether you know it or not, unknowingly you will end come up to this age. Unknowingly, unknowingly. I'm telling you, remember today, anyone of remember me today, you can remember 58, 60 kaisa ho gaya pata bhi nahi chalega. When you get into the corporate world, remember it. Okay. Now I will show you one video. I'll show you one video. Why I'm saying this is again, you have to be very, very attentive now. It is not the just listening and forgetting for the day. This video tells you that today you people are hang. If you Father, your parent comes and tells you something, you may not ready to listen. Or you don't want to listen. Or I am not able to understand or visualize what they are trying to tell us. It may be anybody, parents, surroundings, anybody for that matter. So why it is most important to be attentive is this video. This video tells you that you have to uh, play that video very slowly. There is one question comes. Only for the question stop it. Okay. It says there are some people who, who are wearing white t-shirts and black t-shirts. People passing the ball to from the white t-shirt wearing to white t-shirt. Got it? The person passing the ball from white t-shirt to white t-shirt people only you have to count how many times these people are passing the ball in the game. We attend you, focus, and then come to that. Yes. The monkey business illusion. Count how many times the players wearing white passed. This is a question. Okay. Now be attentive. White t-shirt wearing white only. They are passing the ball. So the ball. <clears throat> One minute, one minute, one. How many says 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 17, okay, 18, 18. Anything about 18, 19, 20? No problem. Okay. Now, no. please. The correct answer is 16 past.
Hold on. Now the real question comes. Did you see anything other than passing the ball or you know passing the ball 16 times? Did you people see anything other than that? The person who has seen Gorilla, what was his count? What is your count of passing the ball? 15? One point. One point. Okay. Now, see how many people have not seen the gorilla? Raise your hands. So everybody saw the gorilla. Correct? Very nice. Did you see anything other than gorilla also? Now that you have one more question comes. Did you see anything other than gorilla? Any observation? This is most important. And did anyone observe other than gorilla? No? Sir, now you play the role. Right. Did you spot the gorilla? For people who haven't seen or heard about a video like this before, about half missed the gorilla. If you knew about the gorilla, you probably saw it. But did you notice the curtain changing color or the player on the black team leaving the game? Let's rewind and watch it again. Here comes the gorilla, and there goes a player, and the curtain is changing from red to gold. When you're looking for a gorilla, you often miss other unexpected events. Okay. Now, please and exit, that... exit this and come back to that. Okay. See, now I would like to name himself whatever I'm going to discuss. One is gorilla and one is changing the curtain. I don't want to put the example of something, but I correlate that example and we can get into. This is real practical. I am sure this is the validity goal. Okay. Go to the next slide. It can go. See, now we are coming to investments. That we would like to do well and all that. There are three words which generally people keep on telling. So invest karo, save karo, tax, tax, tax save karo. Three things people tell it. But of course, what is the investment? Kya hota hai? Savings? Kya hota hai? Or tax earning? Kya hota hai? But there is a combination. Investment, savings, ka confusion. Ho sakte hai. Investment, tax earning. Bhi ban sakta hai. Tax planning को savings भी कर सकते हैं, investment भी कर सकते हैं, right? This is something you need to be alert. Today I am going to give you some thoughts. Keep that thought because we have very limited time of 40, 40, 40 minutes to 45 minutes because we need some questions to answer. But keep this in your mind. Anyone comes and talks to you, remember what is this going to happen. Now another point is that there is a very important lesson. Someone who is very strong in qualification analytics, skills and experience, still we miss a lot of, you know, uh, we have our own perceptions and understanding and I, we don't like something and I like something, I don't want to listen to something, right? These are all my own intuition thoughts. So there are many of them. One of them was black swan event, which was like COVID. What happens, say someone very, very aggressive that I, he's investing, making you know, good profits in the long-term investment continuously because he's earning monthly salaries, he's saving it and doing that, right? But what happens unexpectedly when the COVID came in? This is called black swan. One should be aware such kind of events can occur even in future multiple times. But we underestimate it. That is one. Second one, hyperbolic discounting. I, could, I take some examples. What is that? I'll give you someone say, you know, I will give, give me 100, I give you 100 rupees. And uh, if you wait for say one year, I, you, I'll give you five rupees. Okay. But if you wait for another one month extra, I'll give you 10 rupees. Many people see that they are not ready to wait for one month extra. They need five rupees in hand immediately. Right. That is the nature of human being. That is the hyperbolic dis, you know, discounting. Social proof. Many of your friends, over the period of time you go across, they say, I have invested this, you also invest. It's a good product. I don't think so that's the right way because when he has invested, already invested long, sometime before, he made profits. But 
not the time when he's telling his friend to invest now, maybe the right time or bad time. That's another thought. You are all with me? You are understanding what I'm saying? Right. Okay. And another one is some cost policy. What it says is that I put some money, it has gone lost. It comes back to its original value. I will never sell it. I'll wait for it. Okay. But we don't know whether it'll come back or not, but I'm waiting for it. We don't know what markets are there, what whole economy is running, we don't know. But because I lost, I'm not correlating that, but I just want my money back. I'm waiting for it. That's called sun cost policy. Just now you saw the video, correct? You know, illusion of protection, gorilla story, right? That's one. Now, this, these are the five factors when you want to take any decision, not an investment, any decision. These are the five factors which will affect us. One, problem is unstructured and complex. When you come across anyone, they'll talk to you to convince to do something or, you know, invest to for some products. You will not take decisions if you're not understood that something is complex. Second, if the information is not correct, the way you want to understand, the way I'm communicating, if that doesn't match, then it doesn't go through, right? Third one, if there's nothing, there's no end point is not defined. This is for what purpose? It may be anything. Is it for five years or for 10 years or 20 years or one year or three months? Goals have to be defined. And many a time, stress is high because time constraint and high stakes involved. Like when you go to job, okay, if someone calls you because you're busy and, you know, somebody is asking you some kind of finish of the job, you know, work, everything on the day, sometimes you will not be able to focus on that. Now, decision lies upon the interaction with others. I think this is very critical for you people. You're just come out of the college. If we talk to you something, you listen to that, you will say, I may go back to my parents and come back, right? This is something very critical. So what happens is that these are the factors you should remember what is really stopping us to not to take certain decisions, okay? Now, but when you look at all that stories, you know, WhatsApp, video, book my show, but life is very simple. Only three stages, just three stages. One, education and birth, earning stage and retirement stage. I don't know how many people have insight that this is also waiting for us. Only thing we are very compared right? But but present I am very confident, right? Now this is a small chart for you. Okay. This is again very interesting for you. Okay. See up to 24, 25, we will it is education. You agree on that? And next comes earning life. Okay. Once you get qualified, what is that cost thing which can happen to you? Yeah, yeah. Job aega, shadi ho jayega, ya kya kya hoa? Job aega, right? Either job mil gaya, next hoa hai kya? Marriage. This कोई आपका textbook में नहीं है. ये आपका life में है. इसको ध्यान में रखना. ठीक है? Next. Next क्या आ सकता है? What is next? क्या है next? Okay. Next. Correct. Next. What what is the result? Sir? What next? Home. Correct. Correct. Okay. What next? Huh? Agree? Any stage? 
emergency. And one thing you people should understand the meaning of emergency. Weekend may agar people jaro, kisi ko bolna. Only defined like emergency, nothing more than that. Okay. And only this is a stage where you also do savings because every month you get your earnings if you are into the salary, right? Now we are getting into the next stage that is 75 retirement life. Your income can go up or go down, or it may be anything for that matter. So this is, is called life stage planning. This is financial literacy. This is one should keep in mind. When you you want to when you want to buy a you know mobile, multiple mobile, you want to spend lavishly on something on weekends, whatever. I think if you remember this, these are all gorillas. Got the point? And this is like your screen, color changing screen. This you should keep it in your mind. Gorillas, these are the two effects. If you keep this in mind, nobody can even distract you. Life becomes easy. Okay. Now, after looking at that, there are only two things will happen. I have some financial goals which are short term, and I have some financial goals which are long term. Correct? I agree. And we have to define for that what is the meaning of long and short term. Anything less than three years, treat like short. Anything more than three years, treat like long. Because that becomes a good time to us. This, I have just taken one uh, illustration. It may not be relevant to you, but currently it would be relevant for your parents who are at this stage now. You are all in the range of 22, uh, 22, 24. Plus, I add one year of gap. They are also at 27, 40 to 50 range, everyone's parents now. Correct? So, they, if you look at that way, they have got two children. And at that particular age, on that year, assume that 2023, he has already finished three goals. Other some goals set to be completed. But the only thing important observation is that, suppose at 2019, if 10 lakh rupees required for the daughter education, from 2015, four years is the time frame, it will become 12.62 because inflation is adding the cost. So become people are there, just tell me what is the meaning of inflation? One person, one person at a time, anyone. What is the meaning of inflation? Exactly, right. Consistent price, you know, increase in the prices of goods and services, which in nobody's control, that is like an another gorilla which comes in our life, Unknowingly, we are not aware of it. We are, should keep it in our mind. Inflation always takes away money from us. Okay, keep that in the mind. So, for 10 lakh rupees of investment, actually he needs 12.62 because cost is so much. He has to invest 20,000 rupees per month, which grows from speed of 10%, he will reach the financial goal. The product can be anything. The product will come later. Products are not to be supposed to be highlighted here. It is only the concept to understand. Now, you can imagine here, someone at the age of 10 lakh rupees needs, it's 26, but he has to contribute only 4,000 rupees per month. Because when a person has got a lot of time, contribution money will be lesser. When the goal is nearer, contribution money will be higher because uh, growing opportunity is very less time in there. But uh, when the time is long, multiplying the property is very good. You understand? Any doubts? Okay. No. Now you start getting the job. Money comes to your bank account. How much effort put you put here? Money will come and lie here. Now from here it goes. Where it goes? Taxes, mortgage, fixed expense, food, clothing, loans, entertainment. Keep this entertainment of thousand rupees. Only thousand rupees for you. If you are watching, once you start getting your job, you may go in a two times in a month for watching a movie, which is thousand rupees. I'm just telling you, keep one month away. Go for one movie instead of two movies. That all is thousand rupees. Just remember what can it happen. Okay. 
and investing is the two ways dividend interest rental income many things we keep coming when you start investing right but one thing is keep this point as an objective now you want to go and invest you want to go okay this is the goals you know so many financial goals are coming to picture i want to plan something now where to invest correct where to invest there are asset classes but before getting into we need to know your behavior please understand when you go to doctor doctor will not give you immediate medicine you will check what is the allergic what is the age family history then you take a call even in investment world also the file is very important without knowing it we cannot advise okay and uh, next comes is fixed income real estate equities commodities i hope now you are able to i am able to catch you up now right now you know in debt what is the process there is a product called fixed maturity plans then there is something called floating rate products then called ppf many people are aware ppf and epf when you start getting your salary you get you will know the deductions of epf national saving certificates you can make up for the focus on the saving scheme and the national pension scheme bonds municipal bonds infra bonds policy of investment and the taxable bonds then comes in mutual fund to debt funds there are a lot of other products comes into picture don't get confused understand that something is available with you today once you start understanding where to invest you can get into next but understand what and all offerings are coming to you plots villa central estate correct then commercial plots now you can invest in same product investment through root not buying anything by investing you get some kind of allotment of units it is like real estate only but only holding format is in a paper format not in the real physical format of real estate that's called reit and no remf next comes is commodity you have all that which one gold silver and others gold gold coins and mutual funds also available okay next comes is equity see this you can see you know the graph this covers almost 50% this particular route almost takes 50% of the slide this is something which critical for you to understand mutual funds i hope anybody knows what is the meaning of mutual funds okay how many people are trading in demat accounts how many raise your hand completely you are buying and selling it or you are investing it investing it you are buying through demat and on physical also how is that any idea you understood on physical or demat demat okay right so this particular mutual fund group will invest in multiple products like you know sector funds you know equity mutual fund mid and small cap what happens and you like you are all people you come up with 1000 rupees in the mutual fund market there are a lot of companies are available not more than 45 companies and depends on your goal when you tell them they will tell you this is a product you should invest okay like you everybody even 1000 rupees 1000 rupees selected all that when you will go to the fund manager that fund manager will invest into the market where there are a lot of companies available in the market today like you know it companies you know then infra pharmaceuticals consumer durables okay they will take a call which sector looks as per your financial goals so many years from now they will get you the right product to invest but sir call and you will also come across pms there is something different and art and paint in india it is not it in other country it is like one other it's already fairly developed market their art and paint is also investment okay now i can come back to your economic subject i know my profile i know all these my products i also know my the chart the chart right how many years from now what financial goals to be invested when i am investing i need to know markets demand supply of the economy what is happening on that day and then comes the tax angle what are the tax i suffer the last one is how much efficiently you are able to manage all together in one place accounting accounting is the secrecy of managing money even though you don't grow sometimes it's fine but if you are able to see a single line with a single dashboard still it is good for you all these because you you you, you go, go back to your home 
and then support your parents saying that what and all then done all that good till now you know some mutual fund bonds vikas patra papers you try to you know accommodate aggregate it and arrange in the way you want to understand and give them in hand that's it was very easy do that exercise okay it's a request it's a good one now you know this now come back how all these you know asset classes are done well for example inflation it is almost you know 43 years of data 43 years before i had 1 lakh rupee and if i compare now as on as of march 2022 how does this value looks like 1 lakh rupee is today's value is 3249 with respect to inflation it means i have 1 lakh rupee today but i can buy only 3249 rupees of value product because it is in the note it is in a cash okay Now, if the same one lakh rupee you are putting to gold, it is cost. It is the current value of thirty six lakhs. Okay. Next one, third one is twenty nine lakhs. Now we are talking about the capital market, mutual fund rates, enter the way what we are looking at. Can you read someone this number? How much? Right, you remember this speed up? See, it is decreasing by minus six point five two. Last forty two years average inflation six point five two per year. The gold is eight point four eight. FD is eight point six two. See, the difference of eight point four eight eight point six two for forty three years is how much difference? Seven lakhs. Got it? The difference is almost seven lakhs. But the same rate, it just nearing to the double. It is four point five seven crores. Now, what to do now? We understood so many things, right? It when you look at it, it is not ideal to invest only in stock market like mutual funds and everything. When you come across with respect to your profile, profile tells me risk, moderate aggressive. There's a combination. That combination will be generally with all such of the gold shares. Combination to grow in the long term, not only one. Don't chase only the stock market with just come. It's just part and parcel of investment. If the time horizon is long, plan it accordingly. Okay. So inflation just now defined. Just understand what exactly happens. Someone has got one lakh rupee, and the bank earn interest is on four percent. Assume that you are at thirty percent tax bracket over a period of time. You will earn this, but you and you will lose this. So it is become. One lakh two seven six four, but inflation assume that it is six point five eight last forty three years. I just need to make a seven percent on this. You lose seven. Actually, it becomes ninety five. So investment, what does it mean? It means it should grow more than the speed of inflation. It has to grow more than inflation. You cannot put like long term like a you know six seven percent. It should grow more than this speed. Then only you will make money. The real value of the money grows faster. Okay. Yes, but bank deposits are good for us in the short term and to protect our wealth. When I say we have done all efforts, now we are becoming sixty sixty five. We don't want to take any risk. That is the time we have to move to big deposits. Till then we have to plan it properly. You know, align it more efficiently. And even for the short term planning of two three years, up to three years, whatever it is, we we spoke on. Then again, this gets fit into, you know, that the product should be taken care in that case. Okay. See, tax planning. I'm not doing any discussion here because up to three lakh rupees, what you earn for the next number of years, it is tax free. So no need to worry anything. Up to three lakh rupees of income is tax free to you. But you should declare your tax. Suppose you go to company, you earn uh, two lakh rupees, three lakh rupees, or whatever. You should always declare in form sixty and get your, you know, declaration certificate from the IT department. This is for you to create a the credibility report in future if you need any home loans, car loans, anything. That time that form sixty is required. Don't ignore to file ITR. Whatever money you earn, just file it properly. Okay, keep that in the mind. But this is something critical when you are doing your tax planning. Okay, someone gets into four lakh, five lakh rupees a package. You know, just keep that in the mind. Don't 
plan your taxes on the last working hours, like last one month, two months. Never do it. Do it. Suppose now this year, April has already started. April next three four months, you should start planning for this year itself. Never never delay. Lot of people have seen. You will you remember this when you go in the corporate world, you will forget sometimes, right? Next, do not invest in low yielding some good insurance policies at the early stage of your life. It is important at some stage, like 40, 45 years, somewhere, some good purpose you create, we have to plan for annuity, regular payout, assuming that I'm retiring as early as possible, that thing, but not in the early stage, never, never, okay? And, you know, it is always better plan your taxes with respect to goals. See, anything you're planning, always keep the end point. Without end point, never invest. For example, say now you are at 24, assume that you're getting married at 27. So another four to five years time frame is there. In that, you need to accumulate some funds. That plan, you should keep that plan accordingly. You do it. Maybe you feel that parents will take care of my marriage, but I don't need funds. Maybe for my higher education is planning to go somewhere else. Plan it accordingly and accumulate funds. Without end point, I don't think so. Investment will not give any right direction to you. Okay. And this is the more important. Buying the wrong financial product will cost more than your tax cost. So whenever you get into, see, I'll give you a very, very typical example. When you start earning, I'll give you a story. I think everybody will listen to you. You get a first job, go there, and on vacation, you come back to your native place. And your father, friend, uncle, someone, who is an LIC agent. LIC agent. And they will come to your house. They will take you some LIC policies in the early stage of your life. The problem is we are not aware of it. But at least when you know in the early stage, these products are not good, you can take it. Take something else. Tell the same agent that I want to invest in mutual funds. And uh, that will take care of it. Because there's no commitment of taxes also. Because unnecessarily you put into both products, uh, no, no tax may benefit also. You just invest in a long put. That is the meaning which is coming. To understand. Okay. So when you go outside, I have seen people, okay, this is good time. Today you discussed, you understood that, okay, something is good for me. I understood that. Again, a lot of people come and tell like this. Okay. So here, don't avoid it. Tell them, if you're interested, tell them not interested. Or you want to talk, you can always talk. But do always window shopping. If you receive any calls of someone selling you a product on investments, don't say, I'm not interested. Try to understand what he's trying to tell you. Because this is nobody educating you. Try to understand and align to your goals that what you're investing. Is it right product may not be the wrong product? Then take a call accordingly, right? So this is this is something you for people today want to explain. Okay, power of compounding you might have heard. How many people know power of compounding? One. Anyone else raise your hands? Yes. Can you able to explain meaning of power of compounding? Right. You are there to some extent. I, we, we we have to make it more refined. Anything you'd like to add? Six, six, six. Huh. You want to add something? Meaning of compounding? Same. Okay. Let's understand the meaning of under compounding now. Someone is investing, say, let's look at this cost. If someone is 1000 rupees per month, first year, how much he'll invest? How many? 12 months, right? 1000 rupees per month. First year, how much is the contribution? 12,000. How much is the value? Right? Now, second year, how much? But what was the contribution value? 24. You got it, 24? Now look at, just at the end of the uh, no, 15th year. Please understand, at the end of 15th year, what is the value of contribution? How much? No, no, this is the market value. What is the value of contribution? 1000 rupees per month for 15 years. How much is the value? Ah, one lakh eighteen thousand has become how much? Five lakh. Now you see again, twentieth uh, year. How much is the value? 
But what is the increment contribution? Another one point two lakhs. You got it. You have added one point two lakh rupees only from ten to twenty, but five years become six. Okay. Now again, note this five years after that, you have added only sixty thousand rupees from here. Correct. How much you reach? Eighteen lakhs. Thirty year. Why am I taking thirty year? Now you start working at twenty five. Maybe at the age of twenty, fifty five, sixty, you are planning to retire. Correct. So if it is thirty year, it one lakh rupee per month. Thirty year is how many contribution? What is the value of contribution? How much I invested? How much is this? Got it? This is a simple formula. Yes. Have you understood why compounding is happening? Or I, I'll give an example to that. Please, you should have this in your mind. Compounding how it works. It is like hundred rupee. You put ten percent. Next year hundred ten rupees. On that hundred ten rupee, next year is eleven rupee. On that one twenty one rupee, it is twelve point one. Again, adding twelve point one to one twenty one, it's like getting added, added, added. Okay, it's very simple, but. Uh, Here, this is one of the most boring subject for you people because thousand rupee per month over thirty years, seriously not doing anything, just investing. That is sufficient to take care. Now, if you want one lakh or one crore rupee, you have to multiply that three times. How much you should invest? Three times three thousand. That's all. It will give you one crore. Simple that. Okay. So. The secret here is that if you people come at this age, start working, it is like another ten to fifteen years. Similarly, here to here, you will generally everyone ends up with this kind of level only, because I get married, you become busy with first kid, second kid, then car, some housing loan here, then there, I get lost, you know. But this again, like one gorilla, which is not helping you. This gorilla you have to identify. You have to be with this gorilla also. This will help you. Correct. This will make your life easier. If you are really thinking to retire at forty-five, fifty, this is one gorilla. Please identify. SIP part of compounding is also one gorilla to you. Okay. Now questions and answers. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Any anything else you have queries? Me like it. Any any queries? Come with your thoughts. <clears throat> Maybe I can tell you what is this twelve percent returns and all that we are talking about, right? I need to realize the meaning of twelve. Why twelve percent? Why not ten percent? Why not twenty percent? I need to understand that really, right? So assume that you people are going from Hubli to Bangalore. How many kilometers? Four hundred. Four sixty-three. How many routes are there? Hubli to Bangalore. Google it. Hello. No, just go. Just anyone use. What is the meaning? See, this is critical, lah. Time frame, distance. If you don't know properly, even in see, you can go to Bangalore multiple times, ah. But the life may fifty five one ke ek hi baar hai. So har baar fifty five one ke ek nahi ban sakte. So remember the distance and the time very very clearly. Correct. Now you have lot of vehicles to go. You can go by car. You can go by bus. You can go by train, you can plane also, right? But each product when you want to go, there is a cost, there is a risk, which is getting added. Plane is good, but once this takes off, till land no guarantee. Okay? Yes, the future tells that it's good, but no guarantee. Yes, something you go on ground by bus or you know train, how many hours it takes? Eight hours. Now, immediate one question to you: What is the speed per kilometer going? Simple thought. What can you follow? Don't divide it. Don't do calculation. What comes to your mind? Eighty. Ah, if it is eighty, now it divide by four times. How many hours is your reach? No, no, no. Four hundred twelve kilometers. If we are going eight hours, then how much speed is the kilometer per hour? Sixty. Or eighty, sixty, correct. 
60 km per speed in the real life in the road which is organized it has got a loss which has got constraints advantages to grow keeping all that in the mind i'm going at 60 in the economy in the investment world similarly speed would be around 12 percent 60 km per hour on the road investment in the capital markets is around 12 percent per hour. anything you take more you are adding you, you may be reaching faster, but also you are adding a risk. If you drive 80 kilometers per hour, you may be reaching one and a half hours early to the Bangalore, but the kind of stream, the kind of the kind of effort you take is not that easy. Correct? So everything getting added, cost is getting added. Economics, you know, somebody has to game it, someone there, someone has to lose, right? That's a very simple cal calculation. Here it has to burn something to get into that. So 12 to 15 percent average rate. 60 to 70 percent normal speed. Keep that in the mind. Anybody comes and talks to you. 60 to 70 kilometer per hour, 12 to 15 percent. Anyone talk to you, plan it in investments. Got it? Right? Sir? Okay. Now, I know I'm stopping it. Any questions? Please, I'm open to that. I think I finished on time. Yeah. Any questions you want to ask? Raise your hands. Any good, any doubts? First, to do, to do all this, you must have an account. Then only all these things will happen. Correct? So if you are through, yes, sir. No questions? Fine. If you have any questions, maybe you can connect with your, you know, Mr. Atmananda, someone. Let us know that any queries you have on this front, we can help you. Let's see, again, we are coming back to the basics. Yes. Good evening, sir. Yeah. First of all, I would like to thank you for explaining uh, all about the investment planning. My question is, uh, uh, to, to start compounding, where we can start, we don't have any knowledge about um, any market and investment plans and all. And uh, when we are uh, busy with our job, where we can invest, start compounding? Right. This is a very good question to you. See, what are the, uh, you need to think in like this, the day when you start earning some money in the bank account, just go to a bank and tell them, I want to invest into a product which will give me around 12 to 15% returns in the long term. Don't say that you want to invest. Tell them 12 to 15 percent speed of return I want. Without this, if you tell them there may be a different product can fit into, they may sell it. But you look at 12 to 15 percent. Or you can also tell them I'm looking for investment into one mutual fund. In the capital market, mutual fund is like a baby step to start. And you should start. For the period of time, you will also have time. You learn a lot of other things in the markets. Then you will slowly grow on it into different different products like real estates, bonds, direct equity, shares and all that. But mutual fund is the best way to start. So ask two questions. 12 to 15 percent speed, I want to invest in mutual fund. But banks are uh, mutual fund products, sir. We, uh, we don't have any knowledge about mutual funds. They will guide you. They will guide you. They will definitely guide you. They will guide in the right way. But I think uh, we will not believe someone to they are giving some suggestion and they, we are investing. Correct. We don't have any guarantee about that because Okay. We don't have any proper knowledge. They're just they are giving suggestion, then we are investing. It. Yes. Maybe we will put it across to this talk to the uh, management here. Only on the mutual fund as a subject, we can take it as a different session. Because uh, to make it more simpler, when you go to bus stand, you have a lot of buses. You have a lot of bus, red color bus, green bus, so many buses. As per your need, you need to catch which bus. So in mutual funds also, different, different products. You, I will, we, they will make you train on which products to catch. We can guide you. Maybe on the request basis. Yes, sir. Thank you. Or else you can always walk into nearest branch currently in Hubli, as this is bank. If you want to really, please come. We will definitely guide you there. In bank, at least in the this bank, we get properly for all the customers. Okay. Yes, sir. Thanks. Okay, next. <clears throat> yeah. Hello, sir. I'm Rohit Singh. Uh, thank you for your 
guidance uh, so just i want to ask uh, what is the good source like share market or mutual fund uh, okay. what is different because both of the things we are investing so i just want to know what is the difference between these okay see uh, share market it means like you are going to bangalore on your own vehicle okay. means before going the one day before you will check your vehicle you will also put your petrol check your air properly who all are going with you what is all to be done then that, uh, what are the problems we come across what may be difficult you should plan on your own that's direct equities mutual funds you can plan with a good one train or maybe bus just take the ticket and said that they'll make you rich only thing the difference is that for you there's no need to take any efforts on direct equities here so you will take your mutual funds in that case Sir. I hope I am able to, you know, you know, update you on that. Correct? Right. Thank you, sir. Right. Question? Okay. Okay. See, what is the maximum debt to income ratio you should have to maintain the financial stability? See, I think this question is good. Maybe I ask. If I answer this question, it becomes too much jargon. And the technical way. Suppose what happens is that to make it in another Indian language, how much I earn versus how much I loan, loan I take loan. That ratio should be healthy. It should not be more. Uh, it should not cost more than certain range. For example, I earn one lakh rupee per month. My loan only should not be one lakh rupee, right? It should be some percentage, twenty percent, thirty percent, and all that, right? But uh, This maybe to update at your level. I'm updating this. But debt income ratio is a subject. They can always connect separately. I'll explain them in detail. Next one. Any other question? One question. Okay. So how many people are online? Three thousand. Okay. I hope I can see you, everyone, right now here. We participated to this session. Thank you very much once again. Okay. If you really need some kind of a support, just connect with the the, the staff of Atmananda. If they need some education, sir, we can always there. We can educate them. No issues. Okay. This is just outside the subject. No way you get this subject. You will not get this. You need to come across step by step. Okay. I'll just give this uh, mic to my colleague Murthinja. Just want to add some lines. Yeah. Uh, good evening, friends. Uh, myself, uh, Murthinja, branch manager, uh, Vidyanagar Bank, Express Bank. Yeah. Uh, the first thing, uh, what Giri sir is uh, taking you through, uh, all the financial literacy, the where you have to invest, how you have to invest. Uh, these all things, I think uh, you come across uh, all the discussion. See, just uh, in general, my saying here that uh, most of uh, the people who are gathered here, so you have completed your graduation, so you are going to, you know, uh, take uh, uh, skills in uh, uh, Deshpande uh, Skill Development Academy, and after that you are going to join <laughs> different companies when you start earning. So, so my uh, request here is just when you start earning, please start you know uh, keep saving money whatever the possible amount, whether it could be hundred rupees, five hundred, whatever the salary you get, at least uh, you know twenty percent of that just start keep investing or uh, you know in you know making a fixed deposit or you know uh, putting into the mutual funds fixed deposits or if you you know start keeping you know. Savings, this money, this will help you for your long-term financial goals. Like after, as uh, Girish sir already mentioned, after like you know uh, working for five years, so there are a lot of financial commitments, like you know uh, buying a home, land, marriages, child education, all these things to fulfill all your uh, requirements. So start you know saving money from right now. So when you know we just tell our kids saying that you know if we are giving you hundred rupees for a pocket money, I will ask him to keep at least ten rupees and put it in the savings. The reason behind that, so 
we should educate our you know family friends or uh, our children at the you know smaller age definitely they if they have a you know a habit of saving some money they can achieve their long term goals okay so uh, that is what my saying here so anything you know related to the mutual funds shares or any kind of information you can just approach us anytime or our we have a, you know set of people who can educate you about the mutual funds market uh, shares equities all this information can be uh, you know uh, information can be given by us okay thanks for participating thank you all Let's, let's look at this chart. You know, you are at age of 25. It says how much you need to invest to create one crore at the time of retirement. At the age of 60, you want one crore. How much I should invest? Depends on age. 22 years per cent. If it's 10 percent, 1071 per month. Sufficient. How many years? 38 years. That's all. Now I'm at 49, but I also want to touch one crore. For example, right? So touch one crore from 49 years of age. Just wait a minute. So what is the delay? If I delay, what cost me is something I'm telling you. 39, come down. 39, okay, here. I think I have to invest 36,000 rupees, 415, from 49, till I become 60. That is a huge money. And uh, though I'm adding so much, I don't have time. The time is not compounding money. Got the point? The early you start is just thousand rupees. The, the more you delay, it is money is getting more. So as much as possible, start saving early. Simple. Got it? I have some all calculators. I'll show the calculators to you. I'll show the calculators. You can just keep it fast. Handy on that. Okay. Thank you once again. We can close now. Thank you once again. Bye. Thank you. Okay. So, I hope you all uh, got a lot of knowledge, right? So, especially I, I will talk about me. So, whenever somebody comes to talk about uh, that financial literacy and mutual fund, uh, funds and all those things, right? I usually try to escape from those things. But today, luckily, we were here and I really enjoyed and a lot of things I got to know because we never ever thought in this perspective, whatever uh, the way uh, explained by today guest. So it was really wonderful that whatever the videos and all those things. And the session, I guess, session was not boring, right? So it was really fantastic session. A lot of sessions I attended. But today's session, whatever PPT used by uh, team, as well as whatever the examples, the way, the flow they taken, the entire session, that was wonderful. And I hope you all people got a lot of information. And of course, in upcoming days, you people are going to utilize whatever the knowledge given by both of our guests. And uh, I would like to thank uh, on behalf of uh, entire base fund of skilling uh, to you people for taking our time. And especially that too, on the day World Youth Skill Day, because Last time only we were planning that what kind of activities we can do on this session. But uh, immediately we got to know from uh, PN Nayak sir that uh, two resource person we are getting, uh, Brutinjay sir and uh, Girish sir here. And I really appreciate the way how they explained and all those things. And we are expecting many more sessions like this uh, for our students so that they can also get a benefit of those whatever the advantages are there from the mutual funds and all those things. 
I heartily thank you for taking time and I request you to keep coming here. Thank you. And also like to thank you all people for being here for the last one hour and enjoying the session. I request you people to be here only. I will give you what is the next instruction. Done? Thank you. Ah, keep remember gorillas. Gracias.